Hello and welcome to the A to J author portion of the 2019 online document assembly training put on in partnership with Law Help Interactive, A to J author, and Capstone Practice Systems. I am Jessica Frank, A to J author's project manager. The A to J author portion of this training series is four videos long. In video one, we will cover how document assembly works, how A to J author and HotDocs work together to create a completed document assembly project. In video two, we'll give you an overview of A to J author and basic question design. Video three will cover macros, functions, repeat loops, and advanced conditions. Finally, in video four, we'll talk about the A to J author document assembly tool, also known as the A to J DAT. You can find all the videos on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash A to J author. This is video one in the series how document assembly works in general, and why you're learning both A to J author and hot docs. First, let's cover how document assembly works in general. You start with an underlying court form or legal document that you want to automate. That form is called the template. That can be automated using hot docs, or as you'll learn in video four, using the A to J author document assembly tool. The template contains variables, all the blanks an end user would need to fill out to complete the form. Those variables are tied to specific questions in the interview that you will ask the end user. The end user answers the interview questions by filling in the blanks. Those answers are stored in the variables. Those variables are stored in the answer file. The answer file format is .anx. That's an XML file format. That answer file is transmitted to the server when the user hits the Get My Document or Submit button at the end of the interview. The server puts the answer file together with the template, replaces the variables in the template with the answers the user inputs, and returns a completed document to the end user. A to J Author was created in 2004 as an alternative user interface for HotDocs templates. It was created as the first document assembly interface specifically designed for pro se litigants. It contains a guide avatar and an end user avatar on the pathway to the courthouse. As they progress through the questions, they move closer to the courthouse and completion. It contains lots of white space and is designed to slow the process down for the end user. Questions are asked in small chunks, one bit of information at a time. Several years ago, we added a mobile responsive viewer. That means that users can access A to J guided interviews on any device with a modern browser smartphones, tablets, or computers. The software recognizes the user's device's screen size and adjusts the interface accordingly. For example, here on a phone size screen, many of the graphical design options drop out to accommodate the smaller size. Some of the magic of an A to J guided interview comes with what we call just-in-time learning features. These include learn mores. Learn mores are a way to give the end user additional information at the point in which they need it. You can explain a legal concept, give them additional resources they need to answer the question at hand, or give them examples of how others similarly situated have answered the question. These learn mores can be simple text or, as shown here, a graphic. As they say, a picture can be worth a thousand words. Instead of trying to explain where to find something on their court form or where to sign, just include an image with an arrow. A learn more can also be a video. There are great videos out there explaining difficult legal concepts in plain language that can be added to your A to J guided interview. Another just-in-time learning feature is a pop-up. It's always the best to avoid legal jargon whenever possible, but sometimes you just need to use that legally relevant term. A pop-up is a way to provide a definition when you have to use that legalese. A to J Author currently supports 16 languages. We've done the work of translating a set of common to all interviews, words, and phrases. Think words like next, exit, save, required, back. We also technically support the special characters used by some of these languages. However, you as the author need to do the actual translation of the question text, buttons, and field labels. Once you're ready to start your authoring journey, we're here to help you. We have a YouTube channel with over 40 videos related to document assembly, including many on different aspects of authoring within A to J Author, but also some on plain language, examples of how other organizations are using document assembly, and even a couple on hot docs. Our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash A to J Author. 
Our website contains many resources to get you started authoring. The most important is probably the A to J authoring guide. That's our software manual. It has detailed descriptions of how to do everything in A to J author. You can find that under the Learn tab in the top navigation bar at www.a2jauthor.org. We also have over a dozen sample exercises created by our team to help you learn A to J Author. These are step-by-step -step instructions complete with screenshots and exercise files that will help you practice your authoring skills. They range in complexity from very simple to more complex like nested repeat loops. They also range in time commitment from about 30 minutes to up to several hours. You can keep up to date on the latest A to J Author news by following us on our Twitter account at A to J Author. We announce code pushes, bug fixes, upcoming webinars, new features, and general document assembly news there. For the 2019 online training series, the next two A to J author classes are October 23rd, which will cover macros, functions, repeat loops, and advanced logic. That's uh, video three in this series. The homework is to watch video three and then do the A to J author and hot doc sample exercise for homework. Then October 30th, we'll cover the A to J Author document assembly tool. You're going to watch a video for homework and do the quick and easy sample exercise for homework before class. The next video ser in this series is video two, which will give a basics of A to J Author and get you started authoring. Thank you. If you have any questions, you always can feel free to reach out to me, jessica at cali.org.